Hi, it's Sarah Taylor. So I'm gonna get straight into my colors and then we'll talk. That is a manganese blue by Soho. And we're doing a bloom swipe today. And then that's Interference Gold by Golden Fluid Acrylic. That's this mauve color that I've had floating around for a while now. It's a mixture, I think it's Amsterdam mauve. And then that is Ballet Slipper by TLP. I love that one. That's quinacridone, Nicolazo Gold, and it's a few different tones of it. I think there's a little bit of um, iridescence in there. That's kind of this brick terracotta red, and this is jasmine and charbon quinacridone magenta. The char the and then that's uh, burnt umber mixed with um, another color art pigment in kind of a brown color. So uh, what I'm doing today is I've been doing so many pearl paintings and sometimes I get really into that process and I absolutely love it. However, I, I find that one technique can sometimes start to feel a little bit sort of static and um, sometimes I just love to do something different and I love working with these beautiful thicker paints and it's really interesting, you know, the pearl paintings are about the thinnest paint, and then these are about the thickest paint. So it's two very opposite ends of the spectrum of fluid art, and I absolutely love both techniques. So it's, uh, you know, sometimes I, I do want to talk a little bit about your, your reset as in your creative process and kind of how I approach that. Um, I don't know about you guys, but there are times where there's just a few ideas that are really, really just staying with me. And, you know, sometimes for months, sometimes just for weeks or even just days, but they're really, really strong. And I've really discovered that it's hard for me to kind of just move forward with other projects until I get some of those ideas onto the canvas and and then, you know, I find also fall time to be kind of a reset. You know, I know that different parts of the world, it's not fall time right now. But here in the, I live in the inland northwest in the states in Idaho, uh, kind of up near Canada. And we have a dramatic shift in the weather and things start to get cooler and rainy. And, um, you know, it's a great time to kind of cleanse out the studio and you know, oftentimes I'll burn some sage or some Palo Santo and really just kind of spend some time getting into the, into the space, you know, there's these busy times, especially during the summer where things are moving very quickly and there's a lot of energy and uh, this is a great time to just, you know, have a nice warm cup of tea and sort of regroup, um, at least that's what I've been doing, and it's really been good. So this is, you know, sometimes I get a little bit calculated with things, and you're going to see in my next video um, a real, a real let, like, let loose kind of moment, like just really getting back in and having a lot of fun and um, staying, you know, just kind of loose and making sure that, that it's, that it's really enjoyable and I'll have different trays of paints floating around and <laughs> I had this one tray sitting for the last two or three months that I've been kind of working on and building up the colors and um, so I did something really wild and you'll see that next time but I always find this technique to be extremely satisfying I love the crisp edges and the beautiful result that you get with a bloom or a bloom swipe. So I'm using just an Aussie Floetrol with a black oxide Amsterdam cell activator. That's one part of the Aussie Amsterdam, or of the, um, I'm sorry, one part, it's morning. One part of the uh, Amsterdam, black oxide, three parts Australian Floetrol. That's my cell activator. And then the pillow is this amazing pillow that's not straight out of the can, um, but it's what I've 
come to love and I'll put a link to my video called pillow talk and it goes into depth about that recipe and they just dry perfectly and I'm just going to spin this out this is a 10 by 20 inch gallery wrapped canvas um, really interesting I think I think the composition was a little bit different and really uh, kind of fun so I have a second painting that I did over the top of an old painting it was on a cradle board and I had a few issues with drying on the second painting, so that one will not be available. However, this one will be. And uh, I hope you like it. And these colors just really make me happy. It's just a group of my favorite colors together. There's no indigo in here, which I kind of realized afterwards. However, that that nice burnt umber. Um, and then the, the color art pigment that was with that is called chestnut. And it's a really nice combination, and it really gave it kind of an earthy grounding with all these kind of more vibrant colors. And then the quinacridone nicolazo gold, of course, is always beautiful. So I hope you're enjoying your morning, and uh, you know, kids are going back into school, and things are starting to settle down. And I really look forward to coming months. And here's the final painting. So I'll show you dried results here at the end. And I hope you're having a really beautiful day and staying inspired and staying loose and healthy. And I will talk to you guys really soon. All right. Much love. Take care. Bye.
Thank you.